Welcome back to this tutorial for SOLIDWORKS 2025. In this case, we are going to talk about exploded views. So let's jump into right it. So we have two options for a start the exploded view. One is here at the top in the assembly tab. The other one is go to the configurations options, right click on the current configuration and click on new exploded view. And here what we have is a dialog box that is ready to let us to pick which parts we want to move on the exploded view. So I will pick these two screws. As you can see, they are listed in here at the left. And I will uh, pick the C axis and move it. So this uh, number that actually is just a random number, well, a number that is not precise, um, like uh, 38, for example. I can just uh, retype it in here after releasing the mouse click. I will pick on the uh, screen. And with that, we are having our first uh, step. So I will click here at down. With that, I will have a first exploded view here in the uh, section for explode the steps. So I will pick one more. I will pick these three components. I will drag again the thing. Okay. Now I will do the same thing, but uh, with these other screws very quickly. So it is not required to have the control um, on your keyboard pressed for doing this. So you just go straight to select the components. Okay. I will drag it one more. And now that uh, we have all these guys selected, we can uh, check, for example, here at OK. And that's going to take, a, take us out of the uh, editing of the explode view. OK, so I'm out of explode view, but now I want to continue adding things. So expanding this uh, model tree that we have on the configurations, we're going to see the different exploded views that we have done. As you can see, I'm picking one of them and I'm having an arrow that right now gives me access to, uh, on a more precise way, to move them uh, in the space. So if I want to add more, I need to right click here at Exploded View and click Add Edit Feature. So I will add one more. Let me pick these components and I will add this plate and now I'm going to drag it. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to just click here at done, but I can continue after clicking down, I can continue adding stuff, right? But how about if I want to add another component to one of these steps? It is as simple as just go and pick from this um, um, list of explode steps. And I just, what I just need to do is to add uh, the component to the list. So for example, let's say, I don't know if this makes sense much. Oh, yeah, okay, so let's add this pin. All right, so it is in there. And if I want to remove it as well, of course I can just uh, edit the step. And uh, by picking the part, it's good enough, yeah, that's good enough for remove it. So one more tip in here, because this is about to document our assemblies, right? So let's uh, learn how to make a precise view for your exploded views in drawings. I always like to see vertical lines aligned, uh, not having kind of uh, this choppy uh, line at the edge. I prefer to have something that looks sharp. So I will click, uh, uh, sorry, uh, go to the, my views by uh, hitting the space bar. And now I'm going to use my arrows to get a precise uh, rotation. I'm picking two times the left and now I'm uh, going uh, down in my arrows in the keyboard. So this gives me this view. I can zoom out and zoom in, but if I, um, click on the scroll and move the mouse, I'm going to lose that thing. And that thing is saying that this is a sharp edge, let's say it, it is looking aligned with the, 
with the vertical axis. So now I need to just adjust a little bit more on my uh, views, on my step things. This one is okay. This other one, it's a little bit higher, maybe, yeah, for to not have the screw over the, the plate. And now the plate extending good enough so I can see the entire uh, next plate, let's say. After doing that, what I need to do is to jump into the view orientations that I have in here. And now I'm going to click in this option for new view. It is going to be called, uh, in this case, let's say exploded two. I already have one. <laughs> and after doing that, I can rotate the model and do other stuff. And whenever I want, especially when I'm going to do the drawing, I can go and pick that specific view and it is going to return to that view. And um, one more thing is that, uh, as you can see, as you can notice, we are in the assembly environment. If we don't want, uh, let's say, to be on explode mode, we just need to double click the exploded view here in the model tree and we are back to the assembly um, collapse, the, the collapse version, let's say, or the original version. And now if I wanted to turn it on, I just double click it and I get my exploded view as expected. Now let's put this thing on a drawing uh, for continue talking about bill of materials and all that. But that's in this other video showing right here. Click it. Come on, go ahead.